In this video, I'm going to provide clips of every single time our sitting president, Donald J. Trump, has spoken about UFOs on video. And then I'm going to give you some commentary. Buckle up, bucko. Here is the first time Trump spoke about UFOs on video. It was on June 15th, 2019. He was speaking with George Stephanopoulos on Good Morning America. Before we go, one of the things you have as president is the access to all the information right. in the world, all the mysteries out there. And I was just struck in the last couple of weeks, we're reading more and more reports of Navy pilots seeing lots and lots of UFOs. Have you been yeah, briefed on that? What do you I make have, of it? I have. I, I think it's probably... Uh, I want them to think whatever they think. They do say, I mean, I've, see, I've seen and I've read and I've heard, and I did have one very brief meeting on it, but people are saying they're seeing UFOs. Do I believe it? Not particularly. Do you think you'd know if there were evidence of extraterrestrials? Well, I think my great, our great pilots would know. Uh, and some of them really see things that are a little bit different than in the past. So we're going to see. But we'll watch it. You'll be the first to know. Shortly later on July 5th, Trump appears on the Tucker Carlson show and Tucker asks Trump about UFOs. Here's the conversation. You gave an interview the other day in which you said you've been briefed on unidentified flying objects. Are they, are they real? Uh, well, I don't want to really get into it too much, but personally, I tend to doubt it. Uh, I mean, you have people that swear by it, right? And pilots have come in and they said, and these are pilots that are not pilots that are into that particular world. But we have had people saying that they've seen things. Uh, I'm not a believer, but, you know, I guess anything's possible. We spoke to a government official recently who said the U.S. government had wreckage from a UFO in a, in a facility on an Air Force base. Are you familiar with that? I haven't heard that, no. I haven't heard that. Uh, it has not been within government. It has not been a big thing, but I've seen it. I've seen it on your show, but I've seen it. Uh, I don't assume it's correct, but, you know. I have an open mind, Tucker. And finally today, June 18th, 2020, Donald Trump had a live stream with his son in which his son asked him, point blank, do you intend to declassify the files on Roswell? Here's what he had to say. So last question. Before you leave office, will you let us know if there's aliens? Because this is the only thing I really want to know. I, I want to know what's going on. Would you ever open up Roswell and let us know what's really going on there? So many people ask me that question. I you know, know it sounds almost ridiculous, no, but it it's actually sounds, the real question I want like to know. It sounds like a cute question, but it's actually, there are millions and millions of people that want to go there, that want to see it. I won't talk to you about what I know about it, but it's very interesting. But Roswell's a very interesting place with a lot of people that would like to know what's going on. So you're saying you may declassify? Oh. You'll, you'll, you'll take it? Well, I'll, I, I'll have to think about that one, right? Uh, I'll well, have to think. I'm going to give you my own commentary on all of those videos combined. But before I do, I want to provide you some outside perspective from a few people from UFO Twitter. Because I think it's important that you get viewpoints beyond just your humble host. UFO Jesus. Exo Academian writes, pretty simple psychological profile to run here. Trump loves the attention of knowing people think he may have knowledge of real import on this topic. He doesn't. He just revels in the moment while saying nothing of real substance, as usual. Michael Mazzola, creator of the documentary Unacknowledged, wrote, exactly the equivocating non-answer we expected. But not everyone in UFO Twitter land were negative Nancys. Some folk actually saw what Donald Trump said regarding declassifying the files on Roswell as to be encouraging. Here's what they had to say. Scientist and engineer Deep Prasad wrote, this is the first time a sitting US president seriously acknowledged Roswell and that he has to really think about that one when it comes to declassifying the case. Folks, this is history in the making, even if it isn't obvious. Indirect admission that Roswell is real, promising. Deep continues, this is one of the most mature moments Trump has had in my humble opinion. When he shrugs his shoulders and gets lost in thinking and says, I'll have to think about that one, I felt he full well knew the implications of declassifying Roswell. It's one of the few things that made him pause. Seriously, he's such a hot-tempered individual who gives the least amount of you-know-what compared to any other president before him. Even then, this is something that clearly seems to be a topic of debate he hasn't won internally. I find this extremely telling that he isn't sure about declassifying. Z1947 wrote, he looks off to the side with a small smile while he says it. I think he has already decided to declassify. It will happen and it will be big. That was the vibe I got. He also says, the ace is up his sleeve before November elections. Calling it now. I'm going to give you my analysis on every single time Donald Trump has appeared on television talking about UFOs. Without exception, 
except for arguably his most recent appearance, he has given mixed messages regarding the validity of UFOs. For example, he communicates that he doesn't particularly believe in UFOs, but then when he is asked if he would know if they're of extraterrestrial origin, he responds, well, our great pilots would know, and some of them have seen things they haven't seen in the past. Similar to, to this, he told Reuters in April, on April 30th, 2020, and it was reported in print, he told them that, I wonder if they're real, that's one hell of a video. And I think when he said, I wonder if it's real, he's referring to the UFOs that are in the videos. I wonder if they're real. Also, that's one hell of a video. So he says the videos are impressive, but he also is, ensures that he communicates he wonders if those UFOs in the videos are real. Finally, with the most recent appearance, he relays that there's things about Roswell that he's not going to say, that it's very interesting, and regarding whether he will declassify the files on Roswell, that he's got to think about it. I would say with his most recent appearance, it might be a slight upgrade from his previous two, because when he was speaking about Roswell, he did seem to give the UFO subject a little more validity and less mixed messages than in his previous appearances. However, he doesn't clarify whether there's anything extraterrestrial regarding Roswell, only that it's interesting. The few times Trump has chimed in on UFOs, I would have preferred that he said something to the following effect. Well, our pilots, our radar operators, and our technicians have had very interesting encounters with UFOs. And we simply cannot rule out the possibility that some of them may originate from a source outside the human race. If that is the case, then we Americans at some point are simply going to have to have a conversation about this. Now, if he would have said something on that caliber, I would have given Donald Trump's rating on how he's dealt with the UFO subject an A. Unfortunately, he hasn't done anything even remotely resembling that, and therefore, based upon his handling of this subject, I give him a C, and perhaps that's a bit generous. My hope is that the mixed messages that Donald Trump has persistently given on UFOs is a stalling tactic of sorts, and at a designated time, he is going to be more forthright with the American people on the validity of UFOs. I mean, let's face it. Just as some of the Senate and some of the Congress were briefed on UFOs, so was Donald Trump. And I find it hard to believe that he was not at the very minimum given a best current assessment on what these UFOs are or at least on what they are not. Let's put this in, in, in context. These are machines that are doing incursions into highly restricted airspace, putting carrier strike groups at risk. These strike groups are worth billions of dollars. There's also lives that are in jeopardy when these kind of incursions occur. There's no way he's not being given a best current assessment. Of course, he has expressed a whole lot of skepticism on these videos and on UFOs themselves. So is it possible that the briefers have not given him as much information as I would assume? Or does he just not believe his briefers? Well, I wasn't there, so I can't know for certainty. But the bottom line is, if you were to just examine the Nimitz case alone, that happened in 2004. The US government has had over 15 years to pour over all the various sensor data they collected during those encounters. There are encounters that we don't even know about that they have had a long amount of time to pour over that data. Elizondo has stated there's many more videos and they're just as compelling, if not more compelling, than the ones that have already been released. 
We know that the ones that have been released are only a short portion of the totality of the videos. We know common sense dictates, that's what the, that's what the witnesses say, that those videos are higher resolution than what has been released. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to extrapolate from this array of data that these are not just conventional drones, that the US government does not know what these are. That doesn't mean they're extraterrestrial, but it does mean that they could be extraterrestrial based upon their flight characteristics. I will say this though, if Donald Trump does not level with the American people on UFOs at some point before the next election, because I don't know if he's going to get reelected. He doesn't know if he's going to get reelected. He will miss out on a, a huge, huge move that would give him a tremendous legacy. I wonder if he's willing to miss out on that. Thank you so much for spending quality time with UFO Jesus. And don't forget to subscribe because it really helps me out. If you'd like to support this channel, you can check out my merch shop where I sell t-shirts. Links in the description below. Or you can even become a patron. Or you can just slap a like on this bad boy and I will appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. episode. Thank you.